better than I ever did Move like ghosts, but I don't need no evidence One of the best that ever did this You can quote me Standing firm on my words, sturdy like an oak tree Give me mine, give me mine and let me grind He ain't your dog if he don't want to see you shine with him Fuck too many out here prayed on my downfall But my stock steady rising like the Dow Jones Steady the game, now I'm out here making chess moves Word of advice, make your next move your best move Hustle hard and just stay up on your marathon Who would've thought that little boy would grow up to be LeBron? Back like we never left. Episode 14, Hoop Dreams and Rhyme Books. King Mag. Rambo. Man, hey, we're going to get right into it. We ain't going to waste no time, baby. Candace Parker. She did it. She left the Sparks, went back to the crib, to the shy, and brought a chip to the shy. First one since. First what? Chip what? for Chicago since what? Mike? Nah, the Cubs. Oh, I thought you was talking about the the, the WNBA franchise. I was about to say, I don't think they ever got one. Nah, the Sky ain't even never won one. But it's just the city of Chicago. I think they, I think the Cubs won it since Mike. I don't know. I don't follow the Cubs or the White Sox. <laughs> yeah, I watch a little baseball. When the, when they, they got a the hockey team. Game. They got a hockey team. Yeah. I don't follow them either. Blackhawks, I think. Maybe. I had a hard Blackhawks hat yeah, back in the day, yeah. but my brother took it and did <laughs> some construction in it. Ruined it. <laughs> So hey, what he did? He was roofing. No, he's doing migrant work. Yeah, all done. My brother did the same thing. Not with my hat, but I had some phones. Oh man, listen to me, dog. I pull up. The nigga is cutting grass in my phones. My brother was picking watermelons. You probably want to fight, boy. <laughs> my brother was picking watermelons in my black I want to house. fight, but you know how it much? It was them, fresh too. These three hundred dollar shoes you cutting the grass in, bro. Hey man, what'd that tell you? Ah, uh, Candace Parker. Candace Parker is my goat. I don't care who I don't care who everybody else got as they goat. Yeah. She's my goat. That's the thing though. Like Diana Taurasi had just been coined the goat. Good for her. She took her down. She's not my goat. Yeah, I don't. What they say? Not my president. Not my goat. <laughs> yeah, Diana. That I mean, don't get me wrong. She's a baller. She's a hooper. And don't get. I'm not like as privy with they stats as I am with the male stats. My fault. However, like I said this, like on last episode, this season, watching the playoffs, I'm going to watch WNBA basketball some next year. I'm, I plan on watching it. Like, watch, like I said, Kelsey Plum. And they in the video game now. I was turned on Kelsey Plum watching her play. Like, I was like, yo, she, she tough. hooping. She tough. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, like I said, they are fundamentally sound. Like, I've never watched basketball that I can remember where I see five people boxing out. I was like... And they all box. <laughs> like, they run the plays. You know, in the men's, they're going to run the play one time and then go to. They're going to ISO. That's it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to ISO. So to see them consistently run plays and you can see it being set up and stuff like that, bas- women's basketball is more intriguing to the, the basketball mind that you can see stuff right. going on. Right. Uh, men's is more just because the athleticism, I think. But shout out Candace Parker, man. I think that's big, you know, for her to go back home. That's huge. Yeah. And did you know that her peers voted her as the most overrated player in the league recently? Ooh. Yeah. I think in like 2020 or something. 2019, 2020. Most overrated. Most overrated player in the league. Her <laughs> peers voted that. Overrated. And then she went to the crib and ran it up. Okay. And that's she got big. a shoe out. You know what I'm saying? And I just bought it okay. two weeks ago. They it's got them tough. in your size? No, I bought it for somebody else. Okay, all right, all right. Well, I feel you, Kyle. They might. She's 6'3". She, I wouldn't be surprised if they made it in my size. Yeah. I know she okay, probably will for it. Did she dunk? She won the McDonald's All-American dunk contest. Man, I always thought she was taller than that. She's 6'3". So how tall Brittany Grind is? 6'12". <laughs> and some change? <laughs> nah, she's 6'8". Okay. <six>, eight. <laughs> so she is tall. <laughs> she's extremely tall. So Candace was dunking at 6'3"? Yeah, she paved the way. Her and Lisa Leslie. Yeah. First Lisa Leslie. Lisa Leslie then about six, five, six, six. Hey man, they jumping, jumping she like they double three. dutching. Okay. Uh, a salute to the Chicago Sky. Candace Parker, you brought a chip back to the shy. I know they loving you for that. And like I said, out. She wanted the goats. I don't know who to go. My goat still. I ain't gonna say Cheryl Swoops, but I kind of want to say Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl Swoops. Was, they won. They was winning back to back for a minute down there in Houston. And she came in as an old 
Yeah. Yeah. Woman. Yeah. It was killing. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but Diana, shout out. I, ain't, I can't tell enough of Diana Taurasi. You know, she been doing things since UConn. You know what I'm saying? So, salute them. Uh, they, they fought hard to get there, but Chicago did their thing. You know what I'm talking about? All right. DeAndre Ayton. The Suns, they had up until yesterday. They should have They should have signed him. Come to an agreement. He want a max. Is he worth a max? Definitely. All right, so I got a theory with Big Man. He break that theory, but still, I have a theory with Big Man. Mm-hmm. If all you do is rebound and dunk, I can find somebody in Walmart that can do that for a lot of people. You cannot. Cheap. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. If all you do is rebound and dunk, you ain't find nobody in Walmart that can get 20 and 20 in the playoffs. Not him. I'm, I'm taking, I was just saying, he broke that mold. That's why I would give him the max. He deserves the max. Because he can knock down the, the you know, 14, 15, 16, Look, 17 for the. That dude legit. Suns fumbled the bag. I mean, they could still negotiate or something. I don't know. Not, I mean, it, they can at the end of the season, but it's one of the things where he would have got another year if they They should have matched him out. Yeah. But the owner known for being cheap. His loss. Yeah, he might have said, look, bro, let me do it next year. I got some stuff coming together. And... It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. DeAndre Ayton, he finna go somewhere else. But now nah, they can still match, though. Well, they should have did it. Before the season. Yeah, they can still match. So he, he can go get a match from somewhere else, but Phoenix still got the rights to match him. They still got the rights to match him. They fumbled it so far. I think they he missed, just... They he, mishandled I, it. He man. gave out unless some he was shit. Unless he was asking for a crazy amount. We don't know what was going on in the, in the negotiations. No, nah, If we he don't. was asking for something crazy... He was asking for the max. He might have been asking for the super, super max. <laughs> nah, he ain't no super, yeah, probably, super. Nah, nah, he ain't no super. All you doing is rebounding and dunking. We can go to Walmart. <laughs> Find that. <laughs> the only thing I say, but he young, um, he did impress me getting up to the finals. I still felt like they should have drafted Luka over him. I don't care what nobody say. But he did impress me. However, when they got to the finals, he needed a point guard. It looked like... He need a point guard. What? Man. He got Chris Paul. What you mean he need a point yeah, guard? Yeah, he do got Chris Paul. But, you know, he need a young point guard. Nah, nah. I'm not even going to. Chris, his forte is pick and roll lob. And Buddy couldn't even do that. To be honest with you, you can credit Chris Paul for the success he had last year. Okay. Credit him. Like, to be honest with you. Because he was him. looking like bust material up until last year. No, he wasn't. Bro. What was Phoenix at last year? What was Phoenix at last year? Yeah, yeah. In the finals. No, you know what I mean. <laughs> what it was at. <laughs> Home. All right, like I was saying. Like I said, he, he decent. I agree. He, they should have sent him the money. But at the same time, like I said, they paid Chris Paul. They paid Bridges. They paid Shamit. But they're like, look, bro, I got you. Just let me, you know, let me, let me get some other things out of the way first. All right, man. Hopefully it worked out for him. They finally. But what if he have a bad year this year? Then I guess they look good. What if he have a crazy year? Because you got JaVale McGee backing them up. That was their problem last year. I ain't saying it like JaVale. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> Don't you go hate on JaVale. <laughs> I ain't saying it like he Kevin Garnett. But what I'm saying is they didn't have a center to back him up. JaVale McGee. He's a formidable backup, formidable backup center. He was our starting center. We won with him. Ooh, hey. You gonna get off Javel, man? man. That's tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I said, I said Javel McGee, like I said, to keep him alive. Yeah, man. Said, you got Javel McGee back in the up. Nah, they didn't have no center backing him up last year. That was their issue. Man, that's topic, man. That's topic. All man. right. You gonna ruin it? So you said the man should get the back. He should get the back. All right. Well, we're gonna see. JaVale All right. McGee. So coming into the season, start tonight. We're gonna. What's your prediction? As far as MVP? I don't know, man. I think LeBron might get that joint if he stay healthy. That was, it's it's kind of been like that the last couple of years. LeBron going to get that joint if he stay healthy. I ain't going with LeBron this year. But, I mean, I kind of put, I put we'll like be surprised if Giannis Canada. get that joint again. That would be crazy for him to win three MVPs before he, what, 27, 26? You got you to gotta mention him with the greats. And I seen the last game, because I ain't on I watched some preseason, but I ain't really watch. I ain't no preseason guy. I just, that don't matter. So I'm to get Unless you're trying to get paid. But what I did watch, like 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm watching 
him come down and pull up three. Huh? It's gonna get nasty. <laughs> get nasty. That boy gonna pull up three. The league is over, bro. It's it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap if he if he shoot consistently. It's one thing to have a spot up, you know, the mid range elbow follow. Look, man, he it. start breaking people down and hitting pull up threes. Oh. it's a wrap. <laughs> then he gonna start going around you and dunking all crazy. The boy is really a monster. Who you got for uh, MVP? Luca. I was about to say that. I about to say that. Yeah, I think I think. I mean, I don't know what Jason Kidd's system going to be for him, but, you know, prior to that, he had the ball in his hands 80%, 90% of the time. It ran He's going to keep the ball in his hand. It don't make no sense to take it out of nah, his hands now. Kidd talking about putting him at small forward, too. Jason Kidd, a nutcase. You could, you could front Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson ain't no... Jalen Brunson is a formidable backup point guard. He is, but he ain't enough for you to put Luka at the three. No, not starting. Nine out of ten, he talking about his end of the game lineup. You gotta have the ball in your best player hands, the best perimeter player. I agree. Do I want Jalen Brunson handling the ball at crunch time with Luka like off Luka, the ball? Do you feel like Luka got tired any last year? Do I feel like he got tired towards the end? Probably. So I think that's what it's for. He gonna get tired anyway. <laughs> he gonna get now tired. He gonna get tired. I said it's between if I had to pick. I want to say AD, but I'd be being a homer. It ain't going to ever be AD. It it's never going to be a LeBron James teammate. What Let's about? get that out of the way. No, never? Not while LeBron putting up 25 and 7 and 7. It's never going to be a LeBron teammate. So how you know his numbers going to decline this year? I don't think they're going to decline. They might. 25, 5, and 5. <laughs> <laughs> That's a decline. <laughs> so what you so you saying uh, you're honest. I wouldn't be surprised if Giannis got it. I wouldn't be surprised if Luka got it. I'm switching. I don't Kevin, think it would be Kevin Durant. I'm going Kevin Durant. I would love for that to happen. I'm going Kevin Durant. Because, I mean, let's just say they they play 15 some odd games without Kyrie. He gonna get oh, it. they playing at least 41 games without Kyrie. <laughs> but I'm let's saying, get that out of the way. If New York switch the mandate or if they trade him, whatever, one of the two happen. One of the two can happen. New York can switch the mandate and, you know, that he can come back and play. Yeah. You know, or maybe he can produce a car. I don't think he's getting the shot. Better he didn't went too far bro. in. So, you know, it's one out there. He just going to need to go ahead and do it. And just, it's one out there. Yeah, it's one, man, it's car plugs out there, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we from Florida, man. We can make it happen. KD might get it. I'll I would KD. love for that to happen. I say KD. It's wide open this year, kind of. I think KD going to be, especially if they can pull off getting Ben Simmons to when he ain't got to worry about defense no more. And he could just be. You really want that trade to happen, don't you? Yeah, I think it makes sense for both teams, bro. I really do. Cause you, to me, I, at this point in his career, I don't want to see KD being the. Like he's he's without him on defense, bro. They done, bro. He they go to guy on defense. He a good but he still though. have to score 30, 40 on this end. But he ain't gotta do that if he got if he got um James Harden healthy. He had to score that much because James Harden had um, one leg. Listen, I, I know you don't, you not a James, you not sold on James Harden. No, listen. I'm not. I'm, I'm sold on the James Harden I saw last year being a facilitator. Yeah. But the, the, the James Harden I saw in Houston, it looked good for about six months. And then when you get to the playoffs, he fold like a beach chair. But look how close the Nets was with James Harden just limping around as a decoy. But there was a lot of people hurt last year, though. But that's one of the best players, they second best. So player? they would have beat Milwaukee with James with a healthy James Harden. Yeah, 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 yeah. They damn near beat him with a hurt James Harden. If KD was size 15 instead of a 19, <laughs> they would have won. I mean, it's possible, but I, I I think this year you got like I said, we said previously with Giannis with them winning it, we're gonna see a different Bucks team, bro, because they ain't got that pressure on them. They also ain't got P.J. Tucker. You sleeping. You sleeping. Uh, no, I'm just bullshit. Uh, they got Dirty Gray. <laughs> they definitely got Florida Boy. <laughs> they got, and they gave Dirty Gray that bag, baby. Hey, man. Hey, I, I rock Shout with Dirty Gray. Shout out to Grayson Allen. Ray, hey, Gray going to trip, boy. If, it don't, if all else fails. He's going to take you on the trip. All else fails. He going to stick a leg out. Yeah, man. not even. He, or either that, he's going to take you out there. I need somebody like that on my squad, baby. 
When it's a who ain't scared, what it going to be? He the modern-day junkyard dog. Oh, man. yeah, he going to, listen, he would get it done. He hey, great. modern-day junkyard dog. Sick him. <laughs> Take him out. Say less. That boy from Duval, man. He definitely. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised he hit a three and yell Duval. He might. If he playing. I would love it. I'd get a Grayson Allen jersey. Me and, <laughs> me and the whole family. He just ride and yell Duval. <laughs> All right, so you saying, Giannis, I'm going to say final answer, Luca or KD. But <laughs> it's one of them two. I think KD got, like, he going to be able to go. He going to better lock in, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause, it is a problem. Yes. Oh, man. I'm ready to see it tonight. Like I say, especially with them losing to the Bucks and all that. Rookie of the year. Jalen Green. Yeah, it's going to be hard for anybody else to get it. I mean. Jalen Green. He going to fill it up. It's out of Jalen or Kate. Yeah. But I think Jalen. Because he, he feels some type of way Detroit ain't picking. He's so mad about that. <laughs> he feels he should be happy. <laughs> yeah, Houston is a better... I ain't gonna say Houston the better city, but coming from the South, I prefer a warmer climate. So I'd rather go to Houston. Houston, and, Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. They were selling houses in Detroit for five dollars at one time. <laughs> five dollars? Yo. You can hey. scrape up some change and get a house. Man, I heard they, they got houses downtown for like five bands up there, bro. Yeah. Why are you mad about not going to Detroit? You're to get the into weather the real sucks. estate game, Detroit is the spot to start, bro. Nah, Jalen Green he's gonna run it up. Yeah. He's going to run it up. I said Jalen Green. He's going to run it I'm up. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what's the situation with Kevin Porter. They're going to do one and two. Or how put him at the one and put Jalen Green at the two and have Josh Christopher somewhere in between. Let them young dudes just run wild like they're the Mar- Throw some lobs to him. <laughs> just let them run wild that like they're That boy, that boy, he got bunnies like his pops. Bro. Like his pops. Yeah. One of my college coaches played against Kenyon Martin in college. He yeah. said Kenyon Martin was blocking three-pointers out the air. What? Grabbing them like rebounds. Listen, he was the first one I saw. I saw Kevin Garnett too it do it too, but I remember at Cincinnati watching King Martin. You know how it'd be a you know a foul or something and do to shoot the ball just to kinda uh uh-uh. uh. Let me get that. Could you imagine shooting a three and somebody just grab it out the air? No. And hit an outlet. <laughs> <laughs> no. Kenya Martin was doing it. So yeah, I I say I I say Jalen Green. I I go with that. Defensive player of the year. I don't know, man. Skip me on that one. I don't care about that. It's a part of the game, Rambo. I'm going to say Ben Simmons. I'm not going to say Ben Simmons. He, he was defensive player of the year last, last year, if you ask me. I ain't ask you. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> if you ask me, he was defensive player of the year last year. Look, man. I'm not going with Ben Simmons for any superlatives. You can't Till he like, get his mind right. Till he like get his grind right. You can't play defense, bro. Right now he has conduct. Bro, I right now he has conduct that's detrimental to the team. There's very few people that kept Dame Lillard under 20 points. I watched him do it. I ain't sold on Ben Simmons till he get his conduct in order. Right now his conduct is unsatisfactory. Oh, man. Coach of the year? Jason Kidd. If he could pull off getting Luka at the three and being successful, put J. Kidd right there. Coach of the year. Yeah. I'm gonna throw you for a loop. Go ahead. The coach for the, the coach for the magic. <laughs> Crazy as hell. I, I kind of feel like he gonna. You feel like what? <laughs> I feel like he gonna be the coach of the year. It's either him or what year? Or Rick Carlisle. Magic. Yeah. How many games the Magic gonna win this year? Twenty. <laughs> And that's going to get it done at Coach of the Year? <laughs> but they're going to be fun to watch. That don't matter. The Magic ain't out there. They are playing-ish. <laughs> playing what? They're going to play in the Amway Arena. <laughs> they're going to surprise some people, man. I kind of like their roster, bro. They'll surprise me if they win more than 20 games. You want to take a bet on that? I don't bet. We know what happened last time I bet. i say 30. I put them over under. If I had to do over under, I put them at thirty. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Thirty games? Mm, that's a lot of games for the Magic. <laughs> that's a lot of games. I right, but I, I said to do for the for the Pacers though, Rick Carlisle, because last year they they, they want to fight him, all that good kind of stuff. I, I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna go to Rick Carlisle. You got my head spinning. <laughs> oh, Steve Nash. Oh, what's the name? No, what? I'm going Steve Nash because my guy left. Not my guy, but that guy left. Uh, 
Who was the assistant coach with him? That was a coach in Houston. That was coaching Dan Tony. Dan Tony. Dan Tony left. Did he go to the Magic? No, he went to I think New Orleans, if I'm not mistaken. So it's all on Jay, it's all on Steve Nash right now. It's all on Steve Nash. I don't know, man. I don't... I'm gonna go Steve Nash. That'd be cool. I'm gonna go Steve Nash. That'd be cool. I know it ain't gonna be the coach from the Magic. <laughs> who the coach? Who the Magic coach right now? Jamal uh, Worley. Who? He was the assistant coach in Dallas. What's who? his name? Jamal Worley. Hell no, he ain't winning coach of the year. Man, we have, the, the last black dude we had was what, Doc Rivers? Man, he ain't winning coach of the year. He did. When? I was like, I don't know. He ain't winning coach of the year. Not when, why, not when they had T-Mac. Doc Rivers was there before they had T-Mac. He got fired. That's how he ended up in Boston. Yeah. He don't fire the coach of the year. And, oh, no. And the Raptors did it. Who? The Raptors. Yeah, that's because he wasn't getting it done. But he was a coach of the year? The same year he won coach of the year, they fired. Yeah, he fumbled. I ain't never seen nothing he like that. He crumbled in the playoffs. Oh, they played LeBron, bro. I don't want to hear that. Now you say LeBron like he's Superman. He, he was there. running the East. Damn what you mean? He ain't damn near Superman. When you go to the finals 10 years in a row, yeah, you run that motherfucker. It's not going to be the Magic coach, whoever he is. Next, I'm going. I'm James going. Worthy, Jamal Worthy. Jamal Worthy, something like that. Yeah. Now you like the magic, man. So, man. Find out about your team, man. All right. Most improved. Most improved player. Mm. Mm. That's a good one right there. I'm going to say Darius Garland. That's a good one. I'll agree with that. Because yeah. he played on the Olympic team. He yeah. knows something. He Is knows something. I'm going to say Darius Garland. Is he Darius Garland or Lonzo Ball? One of the two. I like Lonzo, too. No, you don't like Chicago. Stay your ass over there. I don't. I still <laughs> think they're a seven seed. <laughs> Sit seed if everything goes right. Nah, I'm telling you, bro. I still want Lonzo to ball out, though. We'll see. They're going to they gonna be a lot higher than that. Six man. Six man of the year. That one hard to pick until. Man, I got a dude in my head. I can't think of his name. What team? Oh, man. Wow. It'll probably be uh, Clarkson, Jordan Clarkson. I like Jordan Clarkson, but they don't even recognize him. In Utah, when he walking down the street, and he probably the only black person there, so I can't go. <laughs> so I can't go. They got spider. <laughs> they got spider, man. He, they know. They know who JC is. JC get buckets, man. Shout out to Tampa. I think he from Tampa too. He from Tampa. Yeah, man. He we got definitely Florida, from Florida Tampa. running shit. But uh, um, Jordan Clarkson. Fuck, I'm gonna go with Lou Will. That's a safe pick. Hell no. That's a safe pick. He ain't gonna get no playing time in Atlanta. They caught up with Cooper. They call that boy Lemon Pepper Lou. Listen, man, he's a pioneer, and you're going to put some respect on Lou Will's name. <laughs> he's a pioneer. He's hey, a black history pioneer. You know what? Jordan Clarkson. But if he get the playing time, if the Kyrie situation stay the way it is, don't sleep on Cam Thomas. Th Thomas, Cam Thomas. You know what, man? I'm going to throw you for a loop here, man. Since you're such a Magic fan, I'm going to pick one of them young dudes from the Magic. Any one of them. Nah. I just think he's going to be a good coach for them, and I can see him winning 20 games. 30. 30 games. I can see him winning 30 so games. So if they win 30 games, how many they lost? <laughs> 50. <laughs> 52 to be exact. <laughs> Whew. Well, All right, league pass take the team of the year. That, that's the team you most excited to watch? I think they're excited to watch with Trey Young, Sharif Cooper. The young dude that he be jumping everywhere. He's not going to play everywhere. like that. Sure, he's going to play. He's going to play. He gonna play. The Nets, he they got two dudes that could score 40 any night. Every night, really. I'm going Chicago Bulls. That's my league pass team of the year. Last year was Charlotte. I love watching Charlotte yeah, play last year. You might as well move to Chicago. You like them boys so much. I'm telling you. But you going to get season tickets, too? No, nah, I'm just going to watch this league pass. I'm probably going to go to the game when they come down to Orlando. You're definitely going to be in there with a Bulls yeah, jersey on. No, I'm not. That joint probably going to be half and half and everything. It might be 91 and 23. It's going to say 93. <sighs> <Boy>, uh, <laughs> you know what, though? They are going to be excited to watch. I'm telling you, they bro. Got Lonzo, they got Lonzo. sleep on the Bulls, the bro. Lane. Look, man, they probably going to be the best seven seed ever. They seven seed. I remember you talked junk. You say, oh. What's the likelihood of them beating another team by 40? We left here the next night. They beat on their ass again. It's the preseason. All right. You know they ain't lose a game all preseason. What that matter to me? 
They focused. Like I told you, man. They locked in. I tried to find the preseason stats. It took me about 15 minutes to they find the stats. They locked in. Locked into that seven seed. DeMar got something to prove. Zach Levine coming back from playing in the Olympics. He got something to prove. Lonzo got something to prove. And you got a big man that can knock down a jumper and, and boo your chips. Don't move me. All right. It's not moving me. That's going to be my favorite team to watch. What's the least favorite team to watch this year? Shit to me, probably the Knicks. <laughs> no, nothing intrigued me about. Nah, uh, uh, a Thibodeau team always going to play hard. So they're going to play hard. And it's, they, it's in the they got the benefit of playing in the guard. So that if you don't get no energy from anywhere else, you're going to get it from the crowd. I say the San Antonio Spurs. I'm not beating down the door to watch them. Well, ain't nobody going to watch them. Yeah, I ain't gonna Unless care. you live in San Antonio or Can surrounded areas. Can you name areas? four people that play on the Spurs? Rudy Gay still there? No. Yeah, you I can't. Talk. I can't. DeJounte Murray. Yeah. Um, who else? <laughs> who else they got? <laughs> My boy that played in Miami, Lonnie Walker. They got Derek White. And they are going to lose a lot of games this year. <laughs> well, and, the, and the Nets got uh, um, Patty Mills. That's a great pickup. Yeah. That might be your sixth man right there. Might be right there. But he going to start because Kyrie ain't. Because Kyrie going to miss every home game. <laughs> yeah, he definitely no, he won't. ain't playing none. They ain't even letting him play the Oh, home. yeah, they shut him down. Yeah. Shout out to Kyrie, man. He Keep being a freedom it. fighter. If they ain't going to get it, he's just going to stick to his gun. He ain't his, uh, too deep now. He got to. He ain't too deep. He, yeah. He ain't, getting, he ain't getting that shot. Now, it's two things. If you see the card, but you don't see the picture of him getting the shot, then somebody just went in and got the card for him. I don't care. His body is. Or New York could do the un the mandate, but like I say, man. You think he got that much power? Nah, like, it ain't just him. I'm reading that police officers, airport workers, there's a lot of people saying no to the man. All right. I ain't never seen no no you not been able to use a religious exemption on on I ain't never seen that before. Like What's when, his religion? But that's between him and him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he that's why he's getting to his interest. Yeah, he may be one of my fellow Akis. I seen him celebrate Ramadan, so he may be an Ak. You know what I'm saying? And Ak's ain't going for that. No, man. Shout out to Kyrie and his decisions. His body, his choice. He going to miss some games. He, he going to miss some game. money. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Speaking of Kyrie, I mean, because it's, it's probably going to come up in this topic. Ben Simmons, <laughs> he did. He listened to us, bro. He listened to us. <laughs> Only thing, when we were saying just go in there and shoot everything, Ben was like, "Man, listen." Ben was in there taking phone calls, <laughs> tweeting. <laughs> hey, bro, they said today the they were doing defensive drill. Doc said, "Hey, Ben, come on in." He said, "No, nah. no, nah, I don't play." <laughs> Y'all got. <it. laughs> they sent him home. He said he asked him again, Ben, come. He said, nah, y'all got it. Y'all got it. I'm checking my phone. Like, and I sit and I sit there and watch the TV. Like, them TV pundits, bro, they get me so aggravated because they're like, who's going to trade for him when he's acting like this? And this? Somebody will. Bro, listen to me. Somebody going to trade for him. I'm sorry. I don't know where they come from, but you cannot publicly disrespect me and then privately apologize to me. That ain't going down, bro. Uh-uh. It's up. Look, man. And then B would have had to run the fade. That's how Ben, you tell Ben from Australia. He came to Florida and he got a little bit of Florida. You love to claim him as a Florida boy and now all of a sudden he's from Australia. He is from Australia. But uh, he, he spent time here. Same thing with it, B. And B from Africa, but he spent time here. If you spend three or four more years in Florida, you're Florida. Depends on what part you were in. Yeah. Anyway, and B would have to run the fade. Cause he 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 talking a little bit too much. I don't know, man. Ben Simmons ain't built like that. I don't, y'all don't know that, man. Ben might have a boomerang on y'all ass. Y'all keep playing around. Y'all keep might. fucking with him. He might. <laughs> tell you one thing, he ain't gonna do is play play defense in practice. <laughs> he built like that. These, I mean, all jokes aside, you you think I heard it stop? No. Nah, me neither. Nah, somebody gonna take a chance. Being a star, man. He just, he hurt. Like, for real, bro. They sized that man, bro. 
when you ask and you say, I don't know if I can win a championship with him, and then you say, can, hey, can you go in for Hell no. That's the equivalent of your coach coming to you with that's the truth, eight though. seconds on that's the clock. That's the truth. They don't know if they can win a championship. That's the equivalent of your coach coming to you with eight seconds on the clock and say, hey, go on in the game. Hell no. You just, you just told people you don't know if you can win with me, so nah, bro, I'm good. Man, this nigga was in the playoffs not shooting. I don't want to hear all of that. But, he ain't got no reason to be Doc, sensitive. Doc takes part of that too. That's coaching too. No. Yeah. That's, that he been did he, well, he been down three one. How many times? Look, man, this three nigga, times and lost. Man, this nigga been the number one player in the country since he was in ninth, tenth grade. And he couldn't he shoot. Always, he ain't have to shoot. So it ain't like it ain't nothing new. He can dunk, bro. He man, this nigga passed up a wide open dunk to a wide open shot. Oh, I thought Gallo was going to come behind and so it. To a wide open shot. Did he? That's what people don't, people don't leave. They leave that part out. He passed it up to a wide open shot. Yeah, it was an idiotic play. Because all he had to do you was. You still got the two points. No, they missed. No, uh, uh, Bussy, uh, Tobias Harris got fouled. Exactly. He got fouled. They still got the same two points. Okay, what would I rather? Would I rather this nigga that's 6'10 dunk the ball, or would I rather this man get fouled and have to shoot free is throws? It, oh, is it not the same two points? It's not the same two points. Because you get free throws, you get them one at a time. You got to hit one, then you got to hit the other one. You dunk it, I mean, you get dunk, them both at the same dunk, time. You get energy and all that. And I could see if it was goddamn Theo Ratliff, <laughs> Matumbo, down there. <laughs> that's too shit. Big. It's Gallinari. Oh, yeah. I ain't never seen Gallinari block a shot. Nah. And his mohawk was tilted. <laughs> and that's who you, oh, I thought Gallo was going to come behind and swat it, so I passed it. Nigga, if you don't dunk the fucking ball out like you got some sense, his I ass see. deserve all the ridicule he getting, and I don't feel bad for him. But I am a fan of him showing up no. to practice with his cell phone. Oh, oh. That's some funny <laughs> shit. That's some funny shit. Yo, if one of your players showed up to practice... With they phone in their pocket. I might throw the ball at that shit every <laughs> chance I get. Get rid of this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like, like I say, bro, <clears throat> I don't know, bro. I, I meet disrespect with disrespect. <clears throat> so, it's pretty damn disrespectful for you not to dunk a wide open. Nah, man. How That's you know the man wasn't hurt, man? He wasn't hurt. Because hamstring could have been hurt, man. You won't know that. I ain't see that nigga limping. <laughs> Wasn't that hurt. <laughs> he was out there running around fast as shit. The thing is, Philly has to play a part in that, though. It can't be all on him because of the fact that it's all on him. No, it's not. I'm going to tell you why. Once again, he knew he wasn't coming back. They knew he wasn't coming back. They tried to play with his money. That's why he came back. Trade the man. Philly problem is they trying to win the trade. They trying to get... All these pieces for him. You can't devalue the man and then say, I'll, you can't call the man a, 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 a Pinto and then say, I want Lamborghini prices for him. Hell no. You're not going to be able to do that, bro. He got that big ass contract, so you got to get something for Okay, him. so they're going to they gonna lose the trade. Well, that's them. I'm not a Philadelphia fan. Well, it's they, but that's what I'm saying. They, they play a part in it because they're bringing the man in the environment. Well, you know he clearly don't want to be in. Y'all was going to fly out there to see him. Uh, he tell you no, 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 no. He the one that decided that he wanted to go to training camp because he they was, was messing with his money. No, they weren't messing with his money. He was messing with his money. Bruh, if y'all if you know you don't want me here and you know I don't want to be here, then you say, oh, we're gonna start finding. Nigga, if I want to get my money, I'm gonna go to work. Yeah. If I miss exactly. work, I'm expect not to get paid. That's his fault. At the end of the day, trade Ben Simmons for Kyrie. Problem solved. Problem not solved. As soon as they get traded. Pennsylvania be like, all right, everybody got to get the shot if you want to play. I then Kyrie going to be asked out again. It's, Pennsylvania got a high, a high Amish community, <laughs> and they got a lot of Muslims. They ain't finna get, they ain't finna get no they shots. They got a lot of Amish people. And they got a lot of Muslims. They ain't finna, they ain't, they ain't finna do no man. Man, I was in the Philadelphia airport. I said, why the fuck is Abraham Lincoln everywhere? He's <laughs> <laughs> everywhere I go. <laughs> I was wondering why they flying. They ain't supposed to fly. Nigga, Abraham Lincoln was in there flying. Then it was like, nah, them Amish people. I was like, oh, yeah. Nah, they, they ain't supposed to do the modern technology. So they flying now? Yeah, I thought, they, come on, bro. You can't, 
You can't ride in a horse and carriage and then ride a plane. Yeah, you can. Hell no. Nah. That you skipping steps like a motherfucker. You supposed to, if you don't want if you against having a car, how you gonna fly a plane? A plane, not a car. It's a plane. No nah, man. All I know is when I was in Philadelphia, I saw Abraham Lincoln lookalikes everywhere. And I was It might have been Abraham Lincoln Day. I asked. He's <laughs> like, nah, bro, the Amish people, man. The Amish people is Pennsylvania. <laughs> I seen that about a bitch. I thought Abraham Lincoln was around this kid. Shout out Ben Simmons. Hey, bro. I feel you, bro. They sized you. Hey, so you sizing back. Now, I do need to hear for you to get your full, real N-I-G-E, G-G card. You you're gonna have to dunk when you wide open. Nah, you gonna have to you gonna have to see Joe Joel Embiid in the parking lot. He can't just keep using your name. You can't be using my name out of public. Don't be speaking on me, dog. Man. Don't be speaking on me, dog. Man, I'm done with Ben Simmons. I'm scared of dunk. Man, that man could have. Can you dunk off vert? I definitely can dunk off vert right now. How you know that man could dunk off vert? Because he's 6'11. <laughs> <laughs> with a max contract, with a super hey, max. Bro, I was watching the highlights, like just of him in practice, bro. The coach trying to talk to him, the, not the not Doc, but one of the assistants. He just over there, like, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, my face. That. Don't ask me. That, I'm don't. not here for that. Dude tried to shake his hand. Like, you know, you can kind of just slap fire. He just act like he ain't see it. He do not want to be there, bro. He don't. <laughs> He's trying to get that check. So get him out of there, man. Nope. You, they consider themselves a playoff team, uh, 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 a finals-worthy team. It's not going to be good for them to keep him in there, though. Dude, man, it'll work out eventually. It's, it's day one. They're going to train him to the Magic. <laughs> and then your boy might fuck around win coach of the year. <laughs> and you be like, you should have bet. They gonna I, trade I, I should have bet you. Like, cause we talking about, if you're not gonna win the trade, then I'm just gonna send you somewhere. Send his ass to the worst team they exactly. can find. It's the Magic. <laughs> yeah. Cause the Magic got draft picks and they got young talent. You got Jonathan Isaac. You got uh. Okiki. Well, Okiki. I like Okiki. I like him. I like him. You got Mo Bamba. Man, the Magic a horrible franchise. Man. Subject, man. I'm getting depressed talking about the fucking Magic. Man. All right, man, let's go to hip hop, man. Your boy Kanye officially changed his name to Ye. Don't call him Kanye no more. Call him Ye. And he celebrated it with a new haircut. You rocking with the cut, man? I thought a nigga had alopecia, man. I started feeling bad for the boy. Hey, when I seen it, I was like, you know what? He probably told his son. He told his son, like, just go ahead, man. Do your thing. How There's you no way you could tell a trained barber to do that. So it has to be. Ain't no way a trained barber could do that. It has on to, accident. It has to be him or his son or somebody, bro. It's either that or he let a white man. man. He needs a psych that. evaluation, man. <laughs> no, That's what he bro. need. Bro, he just making a point. I don't know what it is. What point he making? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, it's a fine line between genius and crazy. And he just told, he just tiptoed that shit. Nah, on a regular basis. Yeah, he do. He do. He just tiptoed it. I think you know. You I saw think. his. You saw his his gap line. Yeah. Some, you saw his hoodies. Some, uh, yeah. They what you think out. about them? They selling out. They look regular to me. They regular as hell. Yeah. That's and they his selling thing. out. That's his thing. He trying to make regular cool. That shit don't even sound right when you say it out loud. You can't make re- You can make regular cool, bro. That's fine. J Cole doing it. Regular being cool. But, nigga, Yeezy, <laughs> Yeezy Gap, regular hoodies. Nah, you ain't for the cuz. You can't give them all the sauce up front, bro. You got to you gotta see how they're going to treat you, how they're going to let you maneuver in this building. So you're going to give them a little bit of, uh. How much money would it take for you to get that haircut? Shit. Give me 10 bands. I'll wear that bitch for two weeks. 10 bands? <laughs> I'll wear it for two weeks. It's gonna Maybe five. Yeah, I'll wear it for two weeks. It's going to last about a week or two. I wear it, and I wear one of the masks he be wearing. Yeah, cover it up. Get your ass shot by somebody <laughs> walking around with a stupid ass mask on. Yo, I got love for Kanye, bro. He a genius, bro. We don't get where he at, bro. He's somewhere in the future. But he just got a divorce. He just lost some millions, and he lost his house. Steady hollering, we won't pre <laughs> He should have got one. Yeah. Which is crazy, because she got paper, too. So how you take the house? I don't get it. She ain't got as much paper as him. He's a billionaire. No, hell no. She ain't a billionaire. 
But he just got that over over the like last three, four years. But he got it. She don't. She close. I don't know what she do, but she close. Close ain't a billion though. It's not a billion. He got six of them. But she can't use the excuse that she the life, you know, she used to a certain life. He's a breadwinner. But she came in with a She used to a billionaire lifestyle. She ain't a billionaire no more. Give her the house. I give her the house. Give her the house. I don't want to pay tax on you the motherfucker. He no should have said, you know what, if you want the house, you gotta get the same haircut as me. <laughs> you still want it? <laughs> what nah, you think man. she would have said? Nah, I give her the house because I said I don't want to pay taxes on it. I'm, you probably ain't like the fucking house. Nah, because if you give her the house, you can still pull up. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a little trick. You give her the house, you still can pull up because it's your house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Better no, be not be no nothing. Yeah, 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 my yeah. house. You give her the house. Yeah. Can't you think it? She be like, he, nigga be like, Kim, that nigga with that crazy haircut out there. <laughs> <laughs> you better get your baby down. <laughs> Off the whole thing. <laughs> Yo. Hey man, if a nigga with that haircut ran up on me with an ice pick on his face, I went. <laughs> Yo, hey bro, y'all would be suspect. I think he's something wrong with it, but then when he talk, you'll be like, I ain't straight, he cool. I don't know what's up with his haircut, but he cool. He ain't cool, man. man. Shout to Ye. I don't know, he just going through his Britney Spears hey, moment, man. man. Shout to Ye. Black man with a billion dollars. He can do what he wants. Come on. Got I never him. thought in a million years I see Jay Z with dreads. I ain't think that was even possible. <laughs> exactly. So. And he got him. Every time I see a picture of Jay Z with dreads, I'm like, man, this shit's gotta be. Fake. <laughs> and he, like, he got wicks. He got wigs. He ain't got dreads. He got wicks. Yeah. So <sighs> I never in a million years. Let me find out Jay Z birth certificate say he from Duval. Jay-Z might fuck around and be from somewhere from in Florida. Broward County. From Broward. <laughs> and we don't even know it. Yeah. It's family. Because you know everybody up north, they family from down south. Yeah, they all migrated up there. Yeah, so he he, he, he done tapped into his, his people might be from, you know what I'm saying, from Dade or something. But I don't know, man. Kanye, ain't nobody rocking that hairstyle, bro. So, but I'm going to call you Ye. If man, if I'm going to name if you want to be Ye, I'm going to name you Ye. Ain't that what people been calling him anyway? It's better than Jesus. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, way better. Way better. You can have Ye. Soldier Boy. <laughs> I guess he was on live and he was talking about uh, NBA Young Boy. Soldier Boy say ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. And I feel him. <laughs> every time I get in the car, every time I get in the car, my son bring bumping the same young boy song. The same one? Same one. I'm, like, going outside you, today. I'm like, do you listen to this all day? <laughs> How's the same song on every time we get in the car? Then he like, what you don't like young boy? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I like I say I, I go back and forth with him. I say I think he talented. I think he got room to grow. I don't know what these kids. I mean, I ain't saying I don't know why they like him. I just don't know why he's that big. He's huge. He's huge. Like, yeah. Pause. But that's... <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I don't see... <laughs> I don't get it either, man, because all his songs sound the same to me. And my boy always be like, hey, listen to this part, listen to this part. And I be listening like... And he'd be like, that was hard, wasn't it? Like he was going to say a hard punchline or something. <laughs> I'm like, what part? I don't know. Man. Every time. Every we, time. Now, I'll tell you somebody that legit, legit, like, been screaming on and I kind of been listening to him, no cap. I like no cap. I don't believe he, th this lyrical miracle that they say he is. I haven't but, listened to him. I'm going to listen to him, no. Yeah, but I don't know. Soldier Boy, I say, bro, I. Soldier Boy, a hater for real. But I, I mean, it comes I, don't, from a good I place. ain't never been how Soldier was. No, 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 no. So to, ain't nobody worry about Soldier Boy. He's entertaining. But no, he got an album out. Really? Exactly. So ain't nobody talking about his. No, album. I was in college. Soldier Boy was doing features for four ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah. It was tough, I guess. I guess times is rough. That's my thing. I, you know, with Soldier Boy, I, I, I seen it was like he either got a single or an album coming or something like. It. Usually when rappers go to this and other rappers. They got something coming out. Man, Soulja Boy, he iconic, but he be hating. Man, he ain't no icon. Man. He's an icon. Hell, he man. did some. His, look, man, I ain't saying he the most talented. He did some iconic shit back in like what? 06, 07, Wear rubber bands as a necklace. Did With five X T-shirts. 
He had paint on his glasses. He had so give me what was Superman. Give me what. Give me what was that time? He he made ringtones popping. He didn't make he ringtones carried, popping. He carried YouTube for a little bit. It was a new platform, bro. And he intro, he carried it. That don't make you man. Like look, man, I ain't even know Soldier Boy. I ain't Soldier Boy like that. But I'm not gonna get. I'm not. Man, you ain't gonna throw this Soldier Boy icon Soulja shit on. Soldier Boy icon. So in 20 years, Soldier Boy gonna get a fucking lifetime achievement award for what he did on YouTube. Maybe, nigga. I don't know. Hell no, man. So he might need to get one right now on the real. Soulja Boy did some iconic shit, man. He still Soulja be hating. Boy, what you mean he did? I don't see what he did being iconic. Nigga sold a million ringtones. First one ever sell a million ringtones. Are ringtones relevant in 2021? It don't matter. Okay. It don't matter. So he everything he did of, ain't nobody doing right now. Except he paid. Did. Listen, man. I'm not a huge Soulja Boy fan. But he be saying that he was the first one to do a lot of stuff, and he be having the receipts Ooh, to back it up. Who gives a fuck? The first person over here catch all the arrows. Look, man, Drake sold his flow on one song. You hating on Soul? Drake? He stole his flow and he got receipts, man. You talking about a boy who tried to hide his <laughs> kid from the world? <laughs> world, <laughs> had <it> world. <laughs> talking about Drake? <laughs> Look, man, Soldier would be doing some hater shit. He be hating. He I ain't trying to sell that. He ain't no young boy. Ain't nobody buying a Soldier Boy album. No. Nah. Ever. Now, Soldier. I see somebody, there was some dudes in Houston said they uh, took his plaque. He said. And I wouldn't doubt it. He said. He, not a tough guy. He said, I got plaques. What? Soulja Big Soldier? Pause. Man, Soulja Boy ain't no Fa, fa. He definitely shot them niggas. Fa, fa, fa. Shot them niggas. Took his mask off. Said, damn. Got you. Fa, fa. So that's iconic. If we're going to talk about, that's the most iconic thing he ever did. Was that that Vlad interview? He's I, I don't want to hear nothing about them big ass shirts and them rubber band necklaces. So you ain't wear no big shirts ever? Fuck no. Fuck no. I wore I wore tall tees. It's a big ass shirt, <laughs> nigga. You ain't that tall. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I wore tall tees. Then you sit too tall. What you need a tall tee for? Oh. Yeah, he won't five X tall tees. That nigga like six three. Hell no. How tall is he? Probably about five ten. Fuck no, nigga. That dope make him look tall, but he ain't that tall. That nigga do look lame in the video, boy. Face all skinny, arms all skinny. Hey, no, I'm good. Shout, I'm out, to, shout out to Soldier Boy and his hating ass. <laughs> the baby. My boy was out there in Dubai. You seen him crash the ring? Nah. Oh man, you got to see it, Rambo. Like he, he like a wrestling ring, a boxing. Nah, match? it was a boxing ring. So you know he wrapped the dude out. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So <laughs> the dude won. He tried to jump over the top rope and fell, but he played it off so smooth. Clumsy ass nigga. <laughs> and when he jumped over, he hit the ground. You know how you got to get up real quick in that one bounce. You can't you can't stand out up too. So he rolled up, went over, tapped the dude on the shoulder, and then walked out the camera. Goofy ass. <laughs> Listen, bro, he got paid a lot of money to be over there though. I bet. Dubai. You need to get this shit right, man. Speaking of Dubai, I just seen somewhere. I know it's totally off topic, but I seen a dude had three bottles of CBD in Dubai. They get that boy 25 years. What'd that tell you? <laughs> don't play around. It tells me. I don't want to go nowhere in there. I'm Dubai. about to say, it tell me don't go to Dubai. <laughs> Bro, he had three bottles of CBD, and he was able to prove that they was not his. 20 years in the slammer. 25 years. He was black. White. Ooh, boy, they played a dirty game. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Hey, so. Boy, they played a dirty game in Dubai. 25 years hard labor. So what the hell are they doing over there? No drugs. Boy, that's a. You. Man, listen. It's got to be some type so of. So you imagine if he had weed? Oh, they probably would have gave him life. life. That's what I'm telling you. Without the possibility. Hey, man, Dubai, you shout out my, all my ox out of Dubai, but baby, I ain't ready to come over there yet. I ain't never <laughs> going to Dubai. They handing out time like that. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go one day, but it ain't going to be no time. I'm soon, never going. Man. It's a pretty, it's a nice city, though. That's cool. I mean, nice. Keep it. It's Whatever cool. it is, huh? <laughs> yeah, city, country. It's beautiful. <laughs> but I'm good. Mm -hmm. 20. Five Didn't they lock future, future over there for 56 nights? <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. 
56 9. I heard a mixtape called. I think it was based on Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> they called him with the lead. They called him with something. <laughs> it was something minimal because he only got 56. Hey, boy, he knocked over the cup. They go to pull they go to pull <laughs> He probably drunk it all. That's what it was. 25 years. He drunk it all, but he slept 20 of them. If he drunk all of, if he drunk all of them, he slept for 20 of them days. That nigga was in a coma. 56 nights. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meek Mill. And this is Spencer Payne. Shout out to Spencer Payne. It's hard. Shout out to the people with the expensive paint, too. Yeah. Some people, <laughs> some people got expensive paint. Yeah, some people. <laughs> but he get, I seen the, they got the, the white dude talking about, this is what you want, black women? You want my kids to ride up and down and see this on the bus? So apparently they put... First of, all, your kid, first of all, your kid's going to get on Instagram and see them cheeks anyway. Yes, sir. So, nigga. First of all. You better take the smartphone. Second of all, ain't nobody saying nothing about them, them statues they got in the museums with the men, with butt-naked men with little boys behind them. We ain't going to get down that road. Third of all, you see people from the other sex on TV every day. What's wrong with letting, I mean, and on top of that, a woman painted it. A black woman, to be exact. I think it was brilliant. Yes, they talking about it. It was brilliant. It was a good album, too. It was a good album. I wish it was a little bit more lifelike, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> One of them covers that more. <laughs> I wish it was a little bit more lifelike. Well, bent over like that, if you yeah. ask me. And on top of that, the whole cover bus issue, Billboard came out and said that he, he, write, he charted number three. So they asked him about it, like, how do you feel about debuting with this album number three on Billboard? He said, man, listen, I wish Billboard took me off their list. It's like, who who made Billboard hot? Like, in reality, who made Billboard hot? Oh, man, I don't even... Billboard, to me, to me, Billboard is irrelevant in 2021. Billboard is the same people that tell you that Tyler Creator album was the album of the year. <laughs> And Once you don't hear nobody playing it. Never heard anybody. You hear people playing me? I do. Yeah, they gonna I hear do. me playing. I'm rocking with I them. do. And if I lived in a more urban area, I'm sure I would hear more people <laughs> playing. It. I live out around a bunch of old people. Yeah. I would be yeah, if I heard them old people bumping me, I'd be scared. You seen the you seen the video with the cop, I think it was up in Ohio playing Kodak? Playing Kodak was St. Louis. St. Louis? Mm -hmm. If I'm Kodak, I got buddy, bro. I'm gonna I'm I'm send him some paper or something. I'm not. No, nah, you got to. You got to. Take, it's free. It's free promotion. If you understand marketing, like I ain't sending that man nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna send you something. You rapping my song in a police car? Oh, I got to send you something. I ain't sending you shit. Yeah, I send you a couple dollars, bro. Man, you a generous dude, man. You no, nah, that's dude. come on. You gotta think. That's free promotion. I get that it. video went viral. Then that made somebody else go listen to it. And I guarantee you, somebody on TikTok doing a dance to it right now. So, yeah, I'd do it. That's how I, I would. feel. I wouldn't, but that's just me. I'm keeping my money. Yeah, I mean, they hate on Meek. Meek always get hate, bro. He always get... Meek get a lot of hate. He get a lot of hate. People... It stemmed from the Drake thing. Cause he, he get a lot of hate. Yeah, it was Drake yeah, yeah. and Nicki around the same time. Around the same time. And then when, when he broke up, all the barbs started hating him. Then the whole Meek, I mean the whole Drake thing, which I'm on 20 Meek years ago, that. he would have been right. Right. He would have been right. Right. Because if you find, if he found out, or if I found out that Jay-Z and Nas didn't write their lyrics, all, all of their lyrics, I would be Rappers should taken, write their lyrics. Yeah, I would be taken back. So to, for him to find out that Drake didn't write, at the time, it blew his mind. Like, it really did. It blew my like, mind, too. Listen, you know what I'm saying? But... Now I, I'm able to see Drake in a different light. I don't see him as that no more. I see him as a Michael Jackson. Well, the problem is people hold Drake as that best rapper yeah, alive, yeah. and that's when they'd be like, "Yeah, you can't do that." Rap. But yeah. if you just like yeah, he, hella and that's what, that's the point he was making. Like you can't say Drake better than me. He don't write all his lyrics. He's not better than me when it comes to rapping. Me can rap circles around him. When it comes to just pure rapping, and we're kind of making songs and everything. Mm -hmm. it's different. Nigga Drake can spit. I mean, me can spit. Yeah, he can, but baby, he back to back his ass. That back to back was. Ugh. But you gotta wonder. That's that's always the, this, this, that's always the little asterisk. 
So I'm like, uh, even when I, I'm like, man, this shit hard, but man, Big Quentin write this too. I can honestly say I've listened to Expensive Pain more than I listened to Certified Lover Boy. Definitely. I would say that. Definitely. So, if that's saying anything, then yeah. Just stay. I don't listen to Certified Lover Boy. Nah, I guess no. It could have some of the hardest songs in the world. But on see what that I do. Title just throw me off. I make playlists. I titled them by the year. So this 2021. So I may take songs off of your album and put it on the playlist, but then how many times do I hear it on that playlist? Maybe a few. I took two songs off Certified Lover Boy. It could be more. Which one? I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't. The one with Jay, the one with Dirt. I took the one with Wayne and Ross off. Yeah, I like that. Wayne. I like it because of Ross. Yeah, that's the only thing on it. Yeah. Thank and you. I like Drake part. Wayne didn't move me. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I definitely say I like Expensive Pain more than Certified Lover Boy right now. Mm -hmm. I, like, I'm playing Meek out. Like, I'm, I'm rocking with it. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? Now, Charlamagne, I was watching the other day, Charlamagne the God was interviewing Young Thug, which... The boy was totally off. <laughs> you can tell he didn't want to be there, bro. Like, I don't think he, Young Thug is an interview person. Not if you ain't... If he don't rock with you. And the whole thing with Birdman, he rock with Birdman tough, so I don't, I don't know, but... Just watching it, Charlemagne said that he was asking, like, if he had to pick who was going to have a long career, Young Thug or Rich Homie Kwan, he picked Rich Homie Kwan. Right. And that time, would you have picked Rich Homie Kwan? In what year? Because. When investments came out. Listen. In 2015, I was bumping Thug. Make you feel some type of way? In that time. I, I wasn't sold on Thug when I first heard him. I'm a stone, I wasn't feeling that. Mm -hmm. But then he dropped Barter Sits, and I was like, man, this is hard. And then I started listening to him, and niggas was clowning me like, wait, Thug, this and that. And then the same ones that was clowning me was like, bro, you was right, Thug is hard. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to him that much no more, though. His new I album, his his new album just came out. I'm rocking with it. It's It's... He did what Kanye, you could tell Kanye influenced him on that. Because it, it's that album, I guarantee you when Coachella comes, he's going to perform the whole album at Coachella. I can see it. It's one of them things. I'm going to check him out. I haven't been feeling his it, recent projects. It's, it's, it's not like, it's not a lot of up-tempo stuff on there. It's more like ballad type stuff on there. Like stuff that you could see a bunch of white people saying yeah. in the crowd with lighters in there. I know when I was bumping in 2015, 2016, dudes was clowning. Yeah, I wasn't even I'm really like, on him. I wasn't spit. really on him. You know what I'm saying? He and two, shit with him. I got some partners that's from the A for real. And they was like, no, that boy shoot up your mama house. <laughs> that boy really liked that. Yeah. Because at first, you know, the, he was kind of, I ain't going to lie, the dress. He throw you off, but he said he had to wear stuff, the dress because he had a stick. <laughs> oh, like, shit, I feel you. It was a lot of stuff that kind of just I wouldn't wear a dress, ever. Yeah. I'm going to have to find a smaller gun. <laughs> Not wearing a dress. <laughs> I ain't wearing no dress neither, bro. Never. But, but I say, he said, you could tell from hearing him talk that he was calculated. That was a move that was calculated that, you know. He He's did. a smart dude, too, man. Yeah, hell yeah, very smart much dude. so. He ain't no dummy. So, you know, but if I had to pick at that time period, I probably would have went with Rich Homie Kwan. That, it was a time when Rich Homie That mid dropped, I promise I'll never stop. That was, that shit was Make you feel some type of way. That was played hard. everywhere. Bro. Everywhere. But at the same time, Young Thug had. Get back, get back, get back, get it. You ain't have a clue what he was saying. Nah, not. But you a knew bit. he was saying something. Then the song with T.I. With T.I. That... and T.I. Oh, ain't know what he was saying. Nah. And T.I. was on there with them crazy ass ad libs that I thought <laughs> was Young Thug the whole time until I saw the video. Yo. I said, damn, T.I. got to rest or something. It depends on what year you pick. But it said one point I probably would have picked Rich Homie Kwan. Yeah. At one point I probably would have. And but we'd all been wrong. Everybody would have been wrong. That's why it's not good to judge a book by its cover. I just ain't like that Stoner song. That was the only song I did like at one point. I hated that song. And I used to smoke weed. I was like, damn. I'm not a stoner to this. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I mean, you know. Now, Gucci, So Icy Boy. They got booked to perform at Howard Homecoming, mm -hmm. but they got word from the Howard, uh, the students that go to Howard that live on the dorms, hell nah, we boycotting. 
We got mold in our dorms. We got rats in our dorms. We got roaches in our dorms, and won't nobody return our calls. So the so, so icy boy said, "No, nah, we ain't coming. Get your money back. You think that's right or wrong?" I mean, I wish they would. I would have rather them just go perform for the students' sake. Nah, the students is telling you. Nah, we boycotting. Oh, the students didn't want them to come. Yeah. Man, okay. Well. I don't know. Yeah, that's cause the, the school would have made obviously the school would have made money off tickets and all that other stuff. If well, you ain't taking this money to fix these rats, and this is Howard. I know they uh This ain't like I know they dorm situation at Howard is pretty strict, so this Howard we talking about in DC. We ain't and Howard got a, a prestigious alumni. They do. They can't but have they don't let boys and girls visit each other on campus. <laughs> they don't do that. I feel you, bro. You can do all that, but I don't want no roaches and no mold and no rats. And you tell me I got to pay rent in this motherfucker neither. If I brought the roaches and the rats, that's one thing. They might have shit. Nah, nah <laughs> bro. Man, I'm sure that stuff was like that when they took their visit. Unless they didn't take their visit, <laughs> which is bad on their behalf. <laughs> Who go to the dorms when you take a visit, though? I did. I can't remember going to, oh no, I did, because I was all basketball them players, the basketball players, you had to go chill with them, so yeah. But I wasn't, I was going to the school, the gym, all that other stuff. They should have went, huh? Look, man, <laughs> you got to fucking sneeze and it won't come out. <laughs> but if they felt like it was the right thing to do, if they was doing it for the students, I salute that. Yeah. I salute that. I agree, man. Howard, man, all y'all alumni, y'all need to get y'all shit together, because there's no way... College students should be living with roaches, rats, and mold. Uh-uh. No way, oh, man. You better fucking tame them. Make them domesticated. Nah, bro. You living with a rat, bro, and paying rent? Well, first of all, if it's inside, it's not a rat. It's a mouse. <laughs> so. <laughs> Says who? I thought, it, I thought the whole difference between a rat and a mouse was how big they is. That's true. We looked it up. But I always thought the difference was once a mouse go outside, it become a rat. Listen, man, I was ignorant. Okay. Up until two weeks ago. That's but it, that, I am right, though. You right. Yeah, okay. A rat is a big-ass mouse. <laughs> so a mouse is a small-ass rat. A mouse is a small-ass <laughs> rat. That's what it is. Mouse is about this big. A rat could be anywhere from, nigga, human size to dog size. All right, we, we both learned something that day. All right, so before we get out of here, man, anything, any new music? You still on me? I'm on your thug a little bit. I done started lo- listening to Mookie. Yo, him and uh, Whoop had a versus down in Orlando. <laughs> Didn't nobody get killed. It was a success. I did not want to go because of that reason. Oh, hell no. You stay away from nigga events. <laughs> stay away from them. I heard Whoop was being a soul loser. He did? That's what I heard. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't see videos to confirm I was trying it. to watch it, man. I was praying somebody went live, and then I seen the promoter page, and it was like, they doing it live on some kind of streaming thing for fifteen ninety nine. I was like, I am not paying hey, fifteen. Boy. I'd have gave boosted twenty dollars. Who do you think? Give y'all if, you, if you had to choose one person to win, now who you think will win? Boo. Yeah. But see, my I was basing it off of it being a popularity contest, and I Still know it would be moot. No, nah, not in Orlando. No, nah. that's what a lot of people don't know. Like. Whoop got some classics. He got some hood classics. I'll give him that. Yeah. But Mook, he be putting out so much music. Yeah, he man. consistent. He man. put he, out so much he hold, music. He hold Florida down. I he put out so much music, and, you know, he be, he be, having, some, he be having some bangers. Yeah, he do, he do, he do. I, can, I ain't no hate towards him. He got some good songs with Mill Ticket, too. Mill Ticket representing. And yeah, he got representing flex on so He got, you know. Yeah. Shout out Mook. I, I definitely figured Mook would win it musically, but I also felt that... <laughs> Because you know how popularity contest is. If I bring the more people and the more crowd, they're going to be voting for me and this, that, and other. But it seemed like it was a balanced crowd. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, I, I feel like Whoop has a bigger hold on the younger Orlando I could than see Mook that. does. You know? But I love the fact that two Florida individuals was able to put their differences to the side, make a bag, and everybody got home safe. Right. Right, I was extremely happy that nobody got shot. Yeah, because it'll look bad for the for the city, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't even from Orlando. But besides that, I can't think of no new. I'm, like I said, I'm still listening to Meek. It actually got better. 
the more I've listened to it, like, I like a lot more records on it now. Young Thug, I listen to his album all the way front to back on the way coming back from out of town. And it's hard, huh? It ain't hard. It's 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 just a it's full of dope little ballads that I could see being performed at Coachella, and I like cause an artist that's where you make your money at on the road. Right. So he gonna be able to tour with that album, and he got a hard record with Mac Miller. Shout out Mac Miller. Shout out to Mac Miller. Yeah, man. A lot of people sleep on Mac. Mac his uh faces album, and where well, it was a mixtape, they just not put it on streaming site. So. Salute Mac Miller and that, man. I used man. to listen to Mac a lot when I was in college. Yeah, Mac cool, man. I rock with Mac, man. I think my, my uh, I don't even know what's the, is it Circles? I used to like the joint he had called Snooze. I, I just got it in my head. See, Wiz, Wiz, Wiz kind of put me on Mac. Yeah. Right? Seeing him with yeah. Wiz and, yeah. So, you know, rest that man's soul. Uh, I'm going to go check Mac out. But I can't really think of anything else new. I listen to Dom Kennedy. From the West Side, we love three. I listen with that. I ain't gotta go back and check it again. The records I heard, I was. Uh, Dom Kenny, he be hit or miss. Yeah, he I like Dom miss, though. But I he like make feel he make feel good music. Yeah, I can I say fuck that. Fuck with Dom Kennedy. Yeah, I gotta go back and check check some more records. But I can't really think of nothing else, man. So if we gonna if we ain't got nothing else, man. Look, episode fourteen. Hey, y'all already know, man. The season start tonight, man. We finna so we gonna be able to get in, really get in to the nitty gritty. Once the season start, we, you know, we started this at the end of the season was the playoffs. We started in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. so now we going to be able to really go in our bag once the season start. You know what I'm saying? So y'all going to see a lot more from us. You will see some, some, you might see some highlights. You may see, you know, you may see a Zoom interview. You, you know, you may see a couple guests. We finna get it going though, man. We're only going to elevate and try to expand on the podcast. Right. And, and. We are now dropping on Facebook. Whole video. Whole video on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's big. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're going to get a, we're finna get a Hoot Dreams, Ron Books, Podcast, Like page. We need all y'all to go like. And we're going to start dropping that whole thing on Facebook. I'm tired of hearing, man, we're going to drop it on Facebook. Y'all, I ain't got no data. I ain't got no shit. All this other stuff. So, you know, we're still going to be on YouTube. We're going to have a link for the YouTube on there, but we also going to be on Facebook, too. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to try to capitalize, grow the podcast, because we got one of the hardest podcasts around. Yeah. We just need That's more true. eyes. That's it. So since y'all want to be crabby and don't want to like it, shit, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're going to get out of here, man. Salute. <laughs> Catch us back with episode 15. I'm anxious to see what this week going to be about, man. Go Lakers! I was hiding a bitch. Hey, who pulled up that bitch? Helicopter. <laughs> Did it?